Okay, now, this is new for me still. Yeah, me too. For, this is for some reason my phone is sideways, but <laughs> you can hear me though. All right. Yeah, I can hear you clearly, bro. All right, bro. bro. So, mm. all right. Just to give context for anyone watching this, I thought. I, I guess 662 comments that's a <laughs> mess bro yeah that's mad um yeah yeah just to give context i guess for anyone watching this so i made a post that says men using the word bitch and hoe etc should be treated the same as white people saying the n-word um in them posts obviously i've gone into certain more details or whatever but i mm -hmm. guess i just you were one of the people that challenged it um some of those challenges I found out already understood and took on board, but I guess mm. since we're talking like this, Lisa, you should tell me what your problem was with the post. Well, my thing was, bare people are just fucking hitting me up now, louder. My thing was, it's like that word, like that word for me is a very nasty word. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, not only because of the whole historical context of it, but how it makes me feel mm. is like that word was created mm. um, to suppress and to label um, black people everywhere. Yeah. And now it's like you got like a divide between the conscious blacks mm. and those who still don't mind being associated with that word. Um, I'll give you, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just um, speak my point yeah. on it. Um, I went to pick up from someone around the end and um, the brother's um, Algerian and he's gone, he's gone, fam, he's gone, fam, just hold on my nigga, hold on. And I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when his brethren came around, when his brethren came around, I said, bro, are you, let, are you letting my man use them kind of words like that? And he goes, and, and, and he goes, he goes, I goes, are you letting my man speak like that? Do you know what mm. I mean? Like, I don't address my brothers as nigger. I say king, we say king, we say prince, we say yeah. whatever. Do you know what I mean? That's a nasty word for mm. me. Um, when I see the brother, I said, listen, when I see him, we'll talk mm. him. Obviously, he's still old and he's still young. And he's, he's thought that when I said, when I see him, he's thought that man's going to spark him yeah. up. So when I see him, I said, he goes, yeah, but I'm Algerian though. And I said, that's even more the reason why you shouldn't be using that word. Because when you're using that word, I said, bruv, you don't see Chinese people saying that. You don't see Indian people saying that word. You don't see anyone else degrade themselves by using that word. So why are you using that word? Mm. Like, to, people don't understand how it is to be black until they're walking in black skin. Yeah. Until they going in certain places and everyone's looking at man. Mm. It's just this constant feeling that is just on you, that you have to get used to, bro. You just, you got no choice. You have to get used to it. And what I find is people who, people, people who have stuff to say, like, oh, there's no such thing as racism. Mm. Oh, it's not affecting us. That's back in the day. Those are people who are fucking oblivious to what's really. This, this is my thing, though, brother. I'm not one of those people. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one of a p person who's like not aware of system of white supremacy we live in. I'm not a person who who doesn't discuss these things. You know what I'm saying? No, no, of course day, I can't. Bro, I can't that's... feel it exactly. And I have to. Me as a white person. You don't want me to as a it. white person in this culture, in the music culture we're in, whatever. I have to understand that as well. And in life, I have to understand that I don't experience that, right? And me, when I'm discussing these issues, I have to understand I don't experience that. So when I'm talking about racism... You're trying to understand, and I, I so get what, that. So what, what I'm, when I'm discussing racism, and I, I discuss issues of racism, I've done whole radio shows on the use of the N-word in hip-hop, right? which, which, is an, which is another issue which, you're, which you've touched on there a lot. Like, I talk about these things, but I listen, you can like, bro, I listen to black people when, when I'm getting my own education on the effects of these things, do you know what I'm saying? Because because it doesn't affect me like that. So, mm -hmm. and that's why I think that it's important to have a conversation like this. But what I was saying with that post, to me, like initially, wasn't dismissing any of that. Like I'm not here denying the, the effects of that word or even that it's worse, you know what I'm saying? Or has like, I'm just, my point was, 
that these words used for women to degrade mm. them, which I can go, I'll go further into the results of using those words as we, we go. Yeah. Touch upon every point. My point is to address that those words are still completely acceptable. Do you know what I'm saying? Like if if now, like a white person's to use the N word in a derogatory sense, yeah, like in in with aggression, etc. It's done behind closed doors. It's not done the same in the same openness anymore, like right now. But to use the word bitch, mm. whole, all of these kind of things, we say them like it's nothing. Not to me. No, 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 not to me. Because mm. when I hear the word nigger mm. or I hear the word bitch or anything, I'm just like, eh. it just sounds like nails on a chalkboard to me. I'm like, eh. yeah. Eh. When I hear the stuff, it's like, eh. I'm not feeling. Yeah, yeah. So you don't use those. So yeah. you don't use those words or accept them around you anyway. No, I don't. But my point was, when you said what you said, you may not have meant it exactly mm. how you said it or how everyone else is interpreting it, but it looked like you put them on the same level. Mm. And it kind of gave me flashbacks to when people were saying, oh, being gay yeah. or yeah, being yeah, yeah, discriminated yeah. See, being, see, this is a, It's the yeah, same yeah, as... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a point that... When it's like... Sorry, sorry. Where, where, where it's like, listen, I can't go to a job interview and pretend that I'm not mm. black. No. Nah. I can go to a job interview and pretend that I'm not gay yeah, yeah, yeah. and talk about how I have sex with all types of women. Like, what... Yeah. The flesh that I have on my skin, I can't put it in a box and fold it away at my own convenience. Yeah. Do you women know can't I mean? do those things either, though, and brother. But my... my... I can't my, do... Like, as far as their discrimination... As far as women's discrimination is concerned, they can't do those things we'll either. We'll go to that. We'll but this is what... That. I, We'll this go to, what I have to, to lump it I want together. to concede we'll this to point that. first because you just touched on that mm -hmm. to the point where I realised there's something I hadn't taken on board or it's not clear in there is that That's is okay. that yeah of course you. like if a comparison is being made in any kind of way like historically I do understand that those comparisons like the one example you just made have been used in ways that have had a negative effect on civil rights <laughs> the civil rights <laughs> movement on the, on black people's fight against racism. So someone brought up white feminism before, and I understand there's a historical context of white feminism being used in a way that resulted in, in things that was negative for the civil rights movement and fights against racism for black people. So I, I got to understand that I know that already. So I should, I should myself, when I'm writing something like that, think of that context as well, because that's going to that's gonna bother people uh, maybe rightfully well, so, you know. But my, yeah, my cool. only my only thing is like to me when I wrote this, I, I'm not now taking that on board, and that's why maybe maybe I should have at the bottom of that mentioned those things. You know what I'm saying, and, and mentioned my understanding of them. Hmm? You don't come into this world knowing everything as a freaking professor. No, of really. course, of we're course. here to. But learn I do know that. I do know. I do know. As you're open, you will learn something. I do more. know there is a history of um, comparing different discriminations like being used against each other and being used against like the fight against racism for black people specifically. So I do already know that. So maybe I should have included something about it before, but it didn't come to my mind when I wrote it. So I, I was writing like my post when I wrote it was about misogyny. Do you know what I'm saying? It wasn't about racism. It was about, it, yeah, it, it yeah, was yeah, about, yeah. it was about, yeah. look, at these words we use against women that we use them as if they're completely acceptable. But... You're saying we need to change all don't, of these when words. When it comes to, like, like you know, the N-word as an example, it's not acceptable. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying, like, a, a white person using the N-word, um, even with your example, whatever, not that if it was a white person, but a person using the N-word, like that, a non-black person, maybe, who's using it, trying to use it for a term of endearment, as they hear in hip-hop or whatever, is going to be challenged yeah, before... Yeah. We challenge, like, a man who's using a, a word against a woman for the direct purpose of abuse and offence. Yeah, 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 yeah. And maybe, no, I know what you mean. And maybe the things you're talking about and the history of it and the current use of it is, is why that is. Maybe it is more extreme. I don't, but I'm saying that we got to take on board the issues of women. That is what this math, what my post is about. And no one, everyone who's challenged me okay. this thing, no one's been waiting to do that. Was it's because your intention wasn't clear. Mm. If that was your intention to address misogyny, it wasn't clear. Mm. Okay, so to finish up that point, which sparked 662 fucking comments, bro.
<laughs> to finish off that point, my thing is this. I'm not I'm not speaking as some um some historian uppity up black person who's just angry because I just want to be angry because I have white family. I wouldn't I, would, I, would I have call anyone that though, brother. You know what I'm saying? No, but I'm no 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 I'm not even saying it you. I'm saying I have white family and I have white friends. Mm. So um my thing is I'm not just speaking for speaking sense. I'm talking about the comparison. Mm. The comparison between like the words where they come from. Come on, we're we're lyricists, so we we we're, we're very deep in terms of where things right. are coming from, the root so, of where things are coming I'm, from. I'm, so when you're using the word nigga, I hate yeah, yeah. that word. I really don't like that word. And if I use that word, it's because I am describe. I would be describing a, a a a black person who is who is of the mindset of Willie Lynch, someone who is completely devoid of self love uneducated, mm. ignorant, and all of that. And I don't class myself in the same class as those people. I don't class myself as them. I wouldn't ever use that as a term of endearment yeah. um, since I came into educating myself. Um, but at the same time, I do understand that women... I've gone through a lot of stuff. My thing is here. They've gone through let, let me let me ask, ask you this here, because if you're you're saying to me at, at the beginning we started this with the rap point that I can't ever understand what your experience feels like of racism, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, so I'm not going to understand what that word you. what it feels like when I hear that word in that sense, right? So then you yourself have to understand you won't understand how how um, words or anything to do with discrimination towards women is going to be ever. In the same sense, you know what I'm saying? So, so, so right, maybe yeah. I'm not saying so. It, it, it makes it difficult mm. for, like, for you to be able to, for you maybe or me, I'm saying, to be able to make that comparison to say, oh, and I'm not saying it's equal. I'm no point in trying to say it's equal. But in people's defense of saying it's not equal, I, I feel a lot of like issues women are going through is being underplayed. I'm writing stuff here to say actually these words do result in rape, murder, like to epidemic levels. In society today, but no one's like everyone's ignoring all of them points. No, just the perception. Well, okay, are we moving? Are we are we closing that point? And we're what, moving what on to your closing, closing point, point now. Well, well, basically, your original your intention was to talk about misogyny, yeah, 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 definitely. but when in your comparison, yeah. I, what, 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 what kind of sparked off right. everything? Okay, else just if you want to move on, just to be clear of what my comparison was, right. It was not. I'm not saying it was. I'm not saying it, it doesn't. I'm not saying it's equal, and it doesn't say that. I'm saying it's equal in there. I'm saying the words should be treated the same. And in that sense, I don't mean even treated equally, but I mean a white person saying the N word is treated as unacceptable. Yeah. So they both. They both should so they, be. What you should have said is they both should be looked upon as yeah, unacceptable. That's what I mean. yeah, there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. And don't get twisted. Let me, let, me, let me let me be clear. Though. Don't get twisted. Back. Like, I still like definitely play music with these words in all of these bloody words, and like and these and I still like people around me. Like I, I've said like these words about women, I've used in my life loads. You know what I'm saying I'm learning and educating myself now. People around me still say them like, and I would I would challenge those people less than I would challenge if a white person came around me saying the N word myself. So I am already in the same level of realizing that I react more to that one than that one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah, saying, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm telling myself that I should act better around yeah, these things as well. Yeah. This ain't nothing about oh you got pe yeah, yeah. Who's any anyone pointing no fingers, you know. But um, yeah. So yeah, that's you. that's my point on that. You see, you see my thing with 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 um with women because it's like when you're touching upon that word mm. and how 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 these derogative terms that are used for women is much deeper than just a word. Yeah. Just like that, just like the word N word yeah. has deeper, deeper roots. Yeah. That also has deeper, yeah, exactly. deeper roots. And 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 it goes to it go. You 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 can't you 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 can't really speak about it without willing be willing to go into the spiritual aspects of all of it. Yeah. But the fact that men have been made to neglect their feminine side. Men are X Y chromosome. We are half women and half men, okay. you know. But 
the the definition of what a man is is to is is to actually cut that part of themselves yeah, out of course. to actually suppress that self. So already just, just the, the definition societal of definition. what a man is. Yeah, yeah. The society the societal definition of what a man is is already messed up. It's already messed up, and it's just it, it just spirals from there, mm. isn't it? It just basically spirals from there. But it wasn't originally like mm. that. If you look at like the unk, yeah, the unk has it, it, it's representative of the the womb and the male phallus, which is supposed to be the symbol for eternal life. And what was done is the womb off the top of it was removed, and it was replaced with another phallus. Yeah. Turning that symbol into the symbol of death, yeah. So, so no, no, um, I'm, I'm hearing, I'm listening, to you, I'm listening. To you. So, what, what, why yeah, was so that done? It's, 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 why was that done? It was done because it was it was it was a change of God, in it. Like now, it's being ruled by by uh, by this this uh, by by men mm -hmm. who are neglecting their feminine side. And cutting themselves off from the divine mother, which is the earth. Yeah. You know, there is no respect to the earth anymore. We're just raping. We're in a culture. We're in a we're in a culture of raping. We're raping the earth. Yeah. Uh, we're raping the women. Yeah. We're suppressing the the the, the divine feminine. Mm -hmm. And um, we're just all the music is just the trappings of all of. Oh that. yeah, of course. That's basically, and that's why. I, and that was another point I had to point out because a lot of people said. Seemed like it was an attack on music, which in then turn seems like it's an attack on black people, black men. Like I wasn't, I didn't mention music in any edition, you know, although music obviously does fall into it. But I've never wanted to attack music because music is a reflection of society already, in my opinion. You know, you have to deal with the root causes. But from all these things you're saying to me, like you're educating me on some stuff here, brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, so from what I see, you you're already quite aware of the fact that. Of, of misogyny in our society and the uh, and effects it's having. You know what I'm saying? Where I do a lot of work on my divine feminine, man. You go. I do a lot of work on it. You I go. do a lot of spiritual work on it, you, you have to do spiritual work. And the work. challenge I'm coming up against here, like I don't want to hot no one up and all that, but I'm saying like people in the comments here, like I've got I've got inbox from your boy and he's like, oh like from my yeah, boy? Yeah. Which one? <laughs> I shouldn't even say that from um Black Chronicle. I won't even say his name, but he's like that's my so brother. He's like, that's actually my brother. Okay, that's love. That's my younger that's love. brother. And he's so it's not my so brother. he's so he said to me, "Bitch and hoes is like just because it's just a couple of women being upset. Yeah, it doesn't compare because that's just a couple of women being upset. You know what I'm saying? So this this is the kind of dismissal I'm talking about of actually this is a I system hate. of oppression against women that exists here too and i that the mistake i definitely made I'll, I'll you know i'll reiterate is is that really and i always argue against this eh, because we really we really shouldn't be comparing discriminations as a as a solution of solving them do you know what i'm saying we should be yes yes <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You, you, you made you made a very good point yeah because and i think this is something that everyone can learn yeah mm. it's hard to be able to categorize how everyone is hurting mm. and to put it in a bo an understandable box if you're not coming from that same space mm -hmm. because at the same time at the same time brother i understand how hard it must be as a white person mm. who hasn't partaken in any of the systematic uh, 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 um um Things that have happened to destabilize black people as a, as a, no, I, as a race. Probably, me me as a white person, I think, I think, I think all white people. How I think, do you feel about no, think, that? In fact, let me ask you, how do you feel about that? I think that? all white people have played a part in that, myself included. So I don't. How have you because, played just, just understanding the concept of white privilege and that day to day, like, I'm a, like, I'm a, like uh, um, I receive certain privileges in life that others don't. And. Um, so, but that was thrust upon you. Yeah, it was thrust upon me, but it, it has an effect on other people in the world, doesn't it? So, like day to day, me does. me but walking up, time, when I'm when I'm walking around, like I'm trying to think of a good example. I've discussed this before, and that like, tried to come up. I have come up with examples, but um, I think we all contribute to certain aspects of what uphold this kind of system of white privilege and white supremacy in some ways, like through our programming and misogyny. You know what I'm saying we're programmed. 
that this is the way things are. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, and I, I guess me educating myself, I mean, it, it's made me, how it's made me feel in learning all this over time is that I have to educate myself on the, what white privilege is, what my privileges are, and not abuse them, you know, and try and take them into account. Feel... That's part of why I talk about this stuff, because I, I feel like, yeah. and I'm not... Do you feel guilty? What's that? Do I feel guilty? Do you feel guilty that's... or do you feel empowered? That's a complicated thing, because some... I, I, I usually discuss this stuff with white people, right? I was going to make that point that really I feel like my place in this is to talk to white people when I'm discussing it, because I'm not here to tell black people about the experience of racism, but to white people who don't see it, I could have a place in highlighting certain things to them if they're going to listen. Um, and a lot of them come with the reaction, the defensiveness of, ah, oh, but I shouldn't feel guilty, I shouldn't feel guilty kind of thing. Um, I'm undecided on that. I'm undecided on that, on whether white people should feel guilty, whether I should feel guilty, whether I do. I don't know if guilt's a bad thing. Maybe they should. You know? I'm, I'm undecided. But I think we definitely have to take on board what, you know, what the... Um, discriminations and like unequal levels of the playing field are in society and not abuse them you know and and yeah of course and because then we don't know if we abuse those kind of systems then then we're you know we're we're, we're playing a much bigger part in upholding oh, them you know? and, and my thing is just me as a white person like who's operated within a black culture for all of my life right and being in this culture and having a career in it right and I ask this, every time I interview white rappers, I ask them this question. I, I say, do white rappers have a responsibility to speak on black issues or issues of racism and issues of white supremacy, I guess? And my, I feel like they do. I feel like if you're going to be in this culture and not and just ignore those kind of issues going on and act like they don't exist, mm -hmm. then you're kind of disrespecting the culture you're, you're becoming a part of, you know? Mm -hmm. so that's mm -hmm. kind of, that's kind of my stance on that so that, that that's why with me making a statement like this and i'm coming up against you know all, like all, all of this kind of stuff it's like yo i i take these things on board you know but it's cool so i have to realize also when i've said something that maybe has been insensitive to that or or you know doesn't doesn't fall in line with that which is what my belief is already you know you got you've got to have a thick skin and you've got to be open and receptive to what comes back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Because at the same time, see, at the same time, like what, and, and, and try your best. It's a simple thing. Try your best to put yourself in the other person's shoes. Mm. Obviously, ultimately, you'll only be able to sympathize with yeah, someone. Yeah, you can't. You won't, be able to empath you won't be able to empathize with them fully. Yeah. But try your best to put yourself in their situation. Yeah. So I, I, I take on what I've taken on board is the fact that it's a very hard thing as a white person to speak about if you're not strong. If you're not strong in here, if you're not centered in here, mm. it's a very hard thing to bring up and speak about because you're going to get people who, uh, 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 your, your white counterpart saying, you know what, yeah, fuck that. Da, 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 don't, da, da, they're, just, they're just whatever. Or they're just complaining. They're just whatever. You're going to get opposition from that mm. side. And you're going to get opposition from uh, angry black people. Yeah. And right. And, and you're and, and, and really, you're just in the middle, just trying to just <laughs> just just trying to. Balance, you know I mean? Yeah. Like the cartilage in between two rubbing places. And I understand that, which is why. Um, um, I, I, I don't I, know. I, what I, I, respect, I, 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 respect, I, I respect white people who come up and, and want to speak about these things. And they're willing to be challenged and stuff because it's not easy. Have, have just as it isn't easy. Yeah, just as it isn't easy being black and speaking about uh, 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 being black and being proud. Yeah, yeah, of course. Because being black and being proud is always being misinterpreted as being racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> or being, do you know what I mean? Or being offensive. Well, like, like it, it's cool for a Chinese person to say, you know what, yeah, I would only be with a Chinese person. Or an Indian person, they say, oh, I will only be with an Indian person. But when a black person says it, it's like, whoa, he's racist, mm. or he's, oh, he's, he's this and he's that. Mm. And it's like, we have, there's, there's a lot of things that have been placed on black people in terms of, and it's all to do with love. It's all to do with self-love. Mm. Self-love, knowing culture and respecting uh, and being allowed 
to be to to respect and love ourselves it's always a problem mm. and and me as a person who's worked in government i used to be, i used to be a career civil servant i've worked in tons of different government departments and a lot of the time there's very few black people there and when you do see black people and you see uh small clusters of black people it's always like okay and it's coming like it's coming like freaking slavery. Mm, mm, mm. It's coming like freaking slavery. Like, oh my God, like there's a, a, a group of black people over there and they always want to split you yeah. up. They always, it is always, oh, it's threatening. Do you know mm, what I mean? Mm, mm. When you see black people get together, it's like, oh, it's threatening. It does something. So it's like, these are the pressures that we feel every freaking day. And from, 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 from young, the first thing I got told from, from when I gained any type of consciousness is that if you're black, you have to work 10 times more. Yeah. And when I grew up, I actually experienced mm. that. Let me so, ask you something just, just on that, right? This is, just, this is just going some words because I've had the discussions with parents, right? Mothers, like parents of black children, um, mm. black parents, whatever it may be. Um, some who some who say oh, they don't, they don't, like, they don't want to teach their kids that that they'll say, oh, I don't want to teach you, you got it 10 times harder. This isn't me saying this, because I've, I've argued with these people. Right? Well, that's what, no, where I, I say my opinion is kind of that we have to understand, like, the inequalities we're facing in order to address them. Otherwise, we're going to end up accepting them, you know? But then mm -hmm. um, I had so, yeah, a friend of mine, a mother, who said to me, no, I'm not going to teach my son that because I don't want him to think in, in his head, like, already that... that he, he can't, you know, I don't want to give him a complex in his head where he can't achieve anything as someone else. Uh, and no, that's not, that's not the point. Mm. That's not the point. The point is when you're being told that you're being, you're being given a clear, obviously things are changing. Mm. As generation to generation and generation comes, um, things, the, 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 the board shifts and changes yeah. constantly. Like, remember, you remember growing up in school, if someone was gay, mm. yeah, they're gonna get bullied. Yeah, They're gonna yeah, get beaten up. It was standard. It was standard to call someone a the the a, a faggot or gay or batty man or whatever. Yeah. It was standard. It was the music. It was blessed. It was cool. Now it isn't blessed. It isn't cool. Mm -hmm. A guy going to school wearing a dress. It would be unthinkable unless you want to get bullied, beaten up, or stabbed or killed or yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. it is. Now it's being pushed up in school. So things are changing, but from where we have just come from, you can't be under the illusion that you're not going to get discriminated yeah, 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 yeah. for being black. Yeah. You can't be sticking your head in the cloud. It doesn't mean that you're dwelling on everything, mm. but it just means that you're freaking clued mm. up. No, because I agree. you know I... that. Boom. All right, I've got yeah. dreads. I've got dreads. When I come into the place, mm. some people are going to be scared. Yeah. Some people are gonna think that I'm gonna rub them, or I'm gonna do them, or I'm gonna smoke weed, or whatever. Or they've got the, they've already got these preconceived yeah, ideas. Yeah, yeah, the thing they're, they're, they're in through to their training. That's what I'm talking about earlier when I said we all kind of because I've been sure I do that myself. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, well, I have done growing up probably more than I would now, but that's the contribution I feel like everyone makes to um, the system of white supremacy we live in. But yeah, I agree with you. I just thought I put that point forward because it's something I've. I've been challenged on, you know, me, I'm a parent myself with a mixed race daughter, mm. you know, she could pass for whites mm -hmm. in certain circumstances, whatever, but already I know she's faced racism at school, you know what I'm saying, like, from from her hair not to being able to be worn in a certain way, and the comments made about it, if she does, you to a number that. of things. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't can't believe me, you know what I'm saying, my Big Ben said to me when my daughter was born, he goes, remember, because me and him went to school together, and I saw a lot of racism going on in my school. Do you know what I'm saying? Like that that we we would challenge with the teachers at that time. And he he was just like, you know, just no, that ain't gonna go anywhere. And now your parent with a black child, like you gotta be in the meetings. You know what I'm saying? Like you're gonna have to go up in that in that school and deal with those kind of things, which I which I did constantly in her in, in her primary school. You know, in her secondary school now. It's a bit. It's, it hasn't really been such problems. It's been a bit different, but yeah, I've seen it. You know what I'm saying, and so, 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 my opinion on that is that to educate her on what she's facing. You know what I'm saying, as a woman, as a race. You know what I'm saying, so, so yeah, that's my that's my opinion on it. You know, I guess, I guess what going back to the original point, um, 
I guess we kind of summarized that maybe a comparison shouldn't be made and the, the danger in when they are. Um, mm. But my thing, yeah, just going back to my original point, it was that it, it is about, it was about misogyny and it was about rape culture. Um, mm -hmm. And that, that I being something... living in... Exactly. And that, and that being something that... I, and I feel like people saying these words so naturally... It's completely a part of that, you know. There's a pyramid I shared on the thing, right? It's, it's, Normalizing. It's, it's, yeah. There's a there's a pyramid I shared, which I often share in these discussions, right? Which um I think is the pyramid of rape culture or something like that. And at the bottom of the pyramid, you have like sexist attitudes, boys will be boys, and these kind of things listed. I think there was a version that said words like bitches and hoes, but that's sexist attitudes, whatever. That falls into that category of those things at the bottom of the pyramid, you know. And then at the top, you have murder, rape, gang rape, like. And there's all different things in between. And it's like it says that the attitudes at the bottom of this pyramid contribute to the things that happen at the top. So when you see them, challenge them, and let's you know let's start the conversation today, kind of thing. You know what I'm saying. So well, it's like it's it's like this. It's like this when you de when you dehumanize when you dehumanize. Uh, I don't even want to say humanize because it's it's like. Only things that are human are the only things that deserve to be treated fair and with sovereignty. Mm -hmm. Any living being, I feel we have we have made we we've there needs to be another fucking word for that, bro. Well, it's like animals. When we're saying, oh meat, oh I don't eat meat, it's just like, hold on a second, like all of these things are living beings, isn't it? Mm. And to just be like meat. It's easy to be like, yeah, I eat meat. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's the same kind of mm. thing. It's the same. No, wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. It's the same kind of thing because it's like, oh, she's just a hoe, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. just a hoe. It's like it's a canvas. Wait, you see me, bro. It's, it's, if it's I was a, a woman, word, I'm gonna be real. Wait, 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 let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> let me finish. It's just a word that we pour over something to just forget the fact that they're living beings. Mm. But my which allows us. To do as we please. My thing is that, I, that would maybe. I, I'm not a woman, so I can't say this, but I'm sure many women would find offence to that comparison in the same way people would find offence to this original comparison. Because no, 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 dehumanize and then i went hold on a second it's not just about human beings having rights and sovereignty it's about all living beings. yeah so I, that's what i'm saying so, the, to, compare, the so to compare the rights of animals wrong, to compare the rights of animals to the rights of women being raped murdered etc i have said all living things yeah no 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 i didn't do that i said all living things and i was talking mm. about the process of how things break down mm. it starts off by removing their sovereignty okay. in it by saying Oh, they're not. They're not black. They're just niggas. Mm. They're not women. They're just bitches. They're not uh, living beings and animal. They're not living beings and animals. It's just okay. meat. And when you do that, when you remove that whole thing, it's easier to to mess mm. with it. Is 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 easy because you're removing their sovereignty. You're removing you're removing their right mm. to exist and their right to be respected. Yeah. So I say you, bro. That's, that's what I'm saying, bro. That's the so that seems like you agreeing with my original point in a lot of ways, bro. Because if I had a wrote that comparison of meat and animals uh, against the the n word, the n word being same. used, it would have been hella worse. I'm not saying they were the yeah, same. No, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, I'm. I'm not saying okay, they were the okay. same. What I said to you, I didn't say they were the same. Yeah. I said they're all removing. They're all, they're all removing their, their sovereignty. Yeah, you're just removing something and putting a label on it, which enables you to do something. Mm. Yeah. That means, well, he's not just, he's not a white guy. He's just a, I don't use the word. It's hard coming out my mouth. I don't use the word cracker. Yeah. He's just a cracker. Yeah, but Beat him up. It's just, <laughs> oh, he's not just a human being. He's a gay. Yeah. Beat him up. It's just like you're removing... Yeah. There's sovereignty in it. You're removing, yeah. you're removing them away from sovereignty and 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 their their right to be respected for what they actually are. Yeah. And then something else comes in, and w w which is what I'm talking yeah. about. That's the process yeah. by relabeling it, by relabeling so it and devaluing. So it. then, if should we discuss all these things as one thing then?
Because you've just listed a, like a few examples. Should it all be discussed together, as well as separately, maybe? Yes, I think it should be mm. because it's an intention, isn't it? Mm. It's an intention that you start with. You 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 start off with an intention. Yeah. Are you going to value that thing, or are you going to devalue that yeah. thing? And then it breaks off into whatever it breaks off into. But the whole fact of the matter is, you're not showing that thing respect. Yeah. It? And. You're not showing that thing respect, so you can take advantage. Yeah, of it. yeah, exactly. With an intention. Yeah. Whether it's whether it's because you want to eat, whether it's because you want to eat, or whether it's because you just want to have sexual pleasure, or you just want to feel bigger than someone yeah. else, so you're lapping, slapping his labels. It's an intention, and it can't be compartmentalized. It's a whole mentality yeah. that goes with this. Thing. You can't just say, "Oh, it's good in one instance and bad for the other." I think a whole shift. I think, no, go to mommy. Go to mommy upstairs. I think a whole shift mm. in mentality needs to happen. Okay. Otherwise, we're always going to come up against these kind of issues. And how do we... Because it's like, hold on. So how do we make go that on. shift? I think we need to just get to the root of what the problem is, which is what I was, which is what I just touched mm. upon. We need to talk about our intentions. And realize that the words that we use is just an after language. Mm. All of these words are just after languages. Everyone understands what love is. We may not all understand or know what love looks yeah. like. But we need to be moving in that way in order to understand. Because what, lo what love looks like is what needs to be happening mm. now. It can't just be like, okay, love needs to look like this in this scenario. Fuck all of that. It needs to be an intention, something that comes from deep inside. Okay, I'm going to show that person love and I'm going to show that person respect and I'm going to move in a loving and respectful way, mm. indiscriminately of anyone. Yeah. So that's how it should be. I agree with you, brother, but I, I, don't, I feel like a lot of the things you're saying just sit in line with what I originally said, you know? I still see... I, st yeah. I didn't disagree. I didn't disagree yeah. with you, but I haven't put them on the same yeah, level. Yeah. I'm saying... Yeah. What I'm saying, and this is the danger with words, yeah. because you can get mixed up and you can misinterpret. But the whole fact of the matter is, if you want to break it down into segments, everything has its own. Uh, it, it has its own past. Mm. It has its own thing. Its own thing attached to it. Whether you use the word uh, to to address Chinese people or Indian people, whatever, it has its own history, mm. which. You can't really comment on if you're not from there. You're on the outside looking mm -hmm. in. But what I'm saying is, in order to alleviate all of that, you need to look at the intention from when you're coming from. Yeah. And my intention is, if you're going to strip people of their... Uh, of My brother's calling me. I think my brother wants to get in on this conversation. <laughs> I don't know if I can add more people. I might be able to. Let me, let me, let me call him still. Let me call him still. But do you get where I'm yeah, coming I do, from? Bro, I, I just, feel, I, I just feel, like, like, bro, I just feel like it fits in line with what I was saying originally. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're saying... I didn't... Like, I didn't... Like, when go I, on, I'm one second. You, I got a call. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk after. Or oh, tune in. <laughs> cool. I'm saying, like... I'm saying, yeah, I was just saying we should treat them all... Like you're, It feels like you're telling me we should treat all of these things in that way as well. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is, we need to shift our intention, shift and not who, just when who, it suits who's us. Intention? Everyone needs to shift their intention. If they've got a problem with everything or anything, they need to shift their intention. What is that? Not just when it suits them. What you? I'm not. I'm not quite with you. So, give me an example of intent of someone's intention that you mean. Okay, so if someone has a problem with the word "bitch" being used or the word "nigger" being used and stuff, and they really feel um, they really feel upset about that and they want to challenge that whole feeling of that whole thing, mm -hmm. you need to be looking at everything, innit? You need to be looking at everyone being respected and everyone uh, 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 and not discriminating and in all of that. Not just when it suits you, but yeah, but not just when it suits you, but in general, so what, 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 in general looking. I, I agree. I agree with that completely. I don't see, so what's the example of someone doing it when it suits them? Okay, so when you're talking about, when I'm talking about um, 
we was talking about uh, uh, the word bitch mm -hmm. and how it's used to suppress women. And it has um, a whole history and stuff of it. And um, he was looking at where it actually comes from. And it just spirals off. It's like a big spider that spirals off into all kinds of different things. How men see themselves, what the definition of a man is, yep. um, man's role in a relationship, just all of these different things, it spirals onto it. Me personally, because I have taken a spiritual route, mm. I have looked at everything. Yeah. I'm not just looking at the suffering of one particular type of people. I'm looking at the suffering of living beings, mm -hmm. everything. And that's what I'm saying. If you're, if you really want to, if you're really on a quest to understand suffering, I keep it real. You address the, I keep it real. You look at it whole. I, I keep it real. You, I respect your stance on that, but what I'm talking about before that is is human beings. You want you took it away from human beings at one point, and I respect that. But I'm not going to look at. I don't personally choose to look at the plight of human beings as the same as the plight of animals, etc. That's not that's not my choice. So I'm, I didn't say it's the same. Nah, nah, I didn't no, say it's the I, same, but I'm saying. Your intention needs to shift. Intention. If you're going to talk about, if you're going to, yeah, well, you, if you're you going to talk said, about, you already said the intention with like an animal, for example, is to eat. So the intention to eat and the intention to oppress another human being who's different to you is not the same thing. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's wide, wide, extremely different. So I don't, I don't feel like I need to look at that in the same conversation. So you're saying, I'm looking at, so you're saying, so you're saying animals, yeah, that are being bred mm. in captivity. Mm -hmm. And put in little stable. I'm not saying it's good. They're shitting on themselves and all of that is is it 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 is is cool. I'm saying it's cool. I'm saying, but I'm saying it's not the same. A person, a woman being treated or being called a bitch is they're two different no, things. Women, we, no, or they're, 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 one suffering is more important. When you put one suffering yeah. over another suffering. Yeah. That's where it becomes But that's where dangerous. you started that with me, brother. Because you started with saying that the suffering of the use of the N-word like, yeah, has different. to be put, has to be put different... above. They no, that's different... how you started, brother. That's where you started being... Uh, uh, like, being yeah, that's what I said. You, you said they the, suffering, things the suffering of the word, of the use of the N-word had to be put above the suffering of the use of what the words bitch and hoe, etc. No, I you... said, I said, no, I said, <sighs> what, I, what, I, what I meant, mm. what I meant and what I said is that you as a white person mm. cannot comment on black suffering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah? Cool, cool, cool. you can't really comment on black suffering yeah. and under and be and compare them. Yeah. It's like if I if I'm a Manchester United supporter, yeah. and you're a Manchester yeah, United yeah, yeah. supporter. I agree with I that. Talk point. about the suffering of how we feel as Manchester United supporters. Then you can say that in it. You could be like, fam. I was there in the game, and I watched in the game with 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 freaking Eric Cantona I back in the you. days with with Ryan. I agree with you. If that, that. That's what if I agree saying. with you. But if that's the case, then so, you can't comment on the on the suffering of women to compare it either. So you can't even you can't even you can't even like hypothetically you can't even deny that it's completely equal. But what I said. But you, listen. But listen. But no, but yeah. listen. But listen. This is what I said. I said we can sympathize, yeah. but we cannot empathize. Yeah, exactly. So you're. All we can do is try to understand. And you said, how do we do that? And I said, I have done a lot of spiritual work mm. to try and understand. Yeah. And I don't use those words. And I don't treat women like yeah, that. And I understand that men are... Uh, the, 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 the title of what a man is, is, is heavily entrenched in suppressing the feminine side of the man. So I'm saying I can sympathize and I have done my spiritual mm. work, and I'm still trying to understand, but I can never empathize because I am not a woman. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's my point. So, like, so in, in, that, in that sense, you telling me that I can't, and I'm agreeing with you, I'm just saying hypothetically, you telling me that I can't comment on the, you know, the struggle of black people by bringing up this word, this word and this example here, you can't, you can't do the same thing with women. So then you can't actually even contest whether it's equal or not. Hypothetically. I didn't no, but you that. can't. If you, it, do you, equal by, equal to what? By your, by, your, by your standard and reasoning that I can't comment on the struggle of black people, right, to make this comment. I ain't commenting on, I ain't commenting you, on you just said that a minute ago. I'm saying, what I'm, what I'm saying is, I understand that they are going through things mm -hmm. and they have been suppressed historically. 
Women. But I cannot empathize on the feeling Women. of it because I am not a woman. Yeah, yeah, but it's not just historically. It's right, it's right now. I can observe from afar and say, you guys are suffering. And I understand yeah, yeah, that. Cool. Because I have a mother. Yeah. Because I have cousins. Because I have a, 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 a wife. Do you know what, though? That's, my, that's, one of the, that's one of the points I always contest when discussing this stuff because we should. that's not the reason to do it. The reason to do it is not shouldn't be because I have a mother. So I have to have a mother, a sister, a wife in order to value women like that like their value is what their value is to the man in their life in the men in their lives, you know. I'm not saying that's what like people do that naturally. And a lot of feminists when you was brought in by a woman, you have no choice but to respect mm. the we woman. We have to respect the woman fact, as it, to respect a woman as an equal is not to respect her as a mother, you know, it's to respect her as an equal human being, you know what I'm saying? No, I was talking about women in, in playing different parts, different roles mm. in my yeah, life. Yeah, I respect that. And the fact that I that I respect them as a woman, as a yeah. mother, as my wife, okay. and as the fact that I am half woman, half man, okay. X chromosome and Y chromosome, I understand that. But I cannot empathize. Yeah. I do my best to sympathize yeah. and educate myself so I'm not speaking in ignorance, yeah. but I can never empathize. And maybe that, maybe... That is part of, yeah, I'm not disputing your points of it that I've already, like, accepted, but maybe that is part of why the reaction that I'm having from men on this post is because they can't empathise with women, so they are, there is a level of dismissal of women's struggle. Because you can't really, you know what I'm saying? It's because you, it's because you use the N-word, brother. <laughs> and when people are sitting there watching Roots the and reason. Goodbye Uncle Tom and all of that, it's like, It's not the only reason, bro. Ugh! I posted this last night, yeah? And like the first batch of comments that came through, it was all men. It was mostly white men. White men jumping in going, no, how dare you? They weren't even concerned with the N-word part. They were just concerned with the fact that I was saying that we're like basically highlighting the oppression of women. They were like, no, men this, men have this, men. They were just literally denying all of the stuff about what women go through. And this is the problem. You know what I'm saying? I definitely accept the problem with comparing. And I don't really, I don't, Actually, that's so that's a mistake on my part because I don't like comparing like discriminations, you know. That's why I, I like well, I, I, I have an issue. There's someone who came on here who talking about feminism and white feminism, etc. Yeah, that's something I've studied a lot myself. So I don't I don't really like the idea of when like one discrimination is played off against another. Like, and I see it happen the other way around a lot because I see a lot of people that you know. Uh, mostly black men in, the, in this situation who are to, who, who are like black rights activists etc who are very like like knowledgeable on these issues who dismiss women's dismiss feminism and all of that which is there is great reason reasons where that where that should happen but it's again it's a, you're sitting in a situation where it's ignoring one discrimination getting played off against against another do you know what i'm saying ignoring someone else's struggle and that's why I, that's why i that's why i try to study and 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 learn about intersectionality more than anything right and that was dismissed in here as a as a white feminism issue today even though it was something invented by a black woman um and i also try and study black feminism more than anything because that, to me i'm like that's going to that's the purest form that's the purest form of feminism that exists is the fe the the black feminism that's been created by black women who are, who understand both yeah. both of these things well do you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. i think sh i think cuz cuz the reason why we kind of segued into um when me talking about certain spiritual things mm. and animals and certain things is that you you said okay so what is the solution yeah. Yeah, okay. And we was talking about the root and the seed of the problem. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was talking about there. Not a lot of people are ready to actually go there yeah, yeah. to that extent. <laughs> yeah, maybe Not a lot that of wasn't people too, man. Get back, Let's get back to it, isn't it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, it's like I've done a lot of healing work, a lot of spiritual healing work. I've worked with with um ayahuasca, mm -hmm. I've worked with um salvia, um, all kinds of different things, and I've done some very deep healing on myself. And one of the things that you get shown on the plant medicine is that everything is a living being and everything should be respected. Mm. And uh, I've even been shown um, having different lives where I have existed as different things. Just even, even if it was just something that was projected to me, just seeing the fact that everything is a living thing and is trying to experience something here. Everything is sovereign here because it exists here. And to actually say that something is more uh, important than the other or has more right to live than the other, 
that is something where it's a it's 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 the seed of the problem. But you contribute you that contributed is, to that though, brother, in this context. But I feel, I don't feel like it's exactly the same thing because. What in what? in regard with challenging me of using the, of comparing these two things because now you're kind of come, sitting on a place where it's like you're you're going back to the solution being treating them the same. Like I feel like in society we need to treat we need no, to I understand discrimination specifically to who they affect. You know I do respect what you're saying. Right, I know, we'll I know about, a bit about it. It's about the, I don't think I don't think you're completely getting exactly what I'm saying. In that instance, when you use, when you compare the yeah. N-word, because not everyone's ready to go where I'm yeah, going. Exactly. Not yeah. everyone. Unless, yeah, you, exactly. unless you do the was, work, was, you're not ready to go to the, to the depths yeah. of that. We're dealing with so, the, the root. We're dealing with the tree. We're dealing so with the tree branches. Let's deal with the people who are not ready for that. Let's deal with the people who are not ready for that, but are ready for, who, who are still here, interested, and having emotional and, and personal reactions to statements about discrimination as as people, yeah. Like me personally, me personally, in order to understand where I'm coming from and to be able to even engage with in in this high level um, spiritual conversation and topic mm. here, you need to start doing medicine work. You need to start doing meditation. I do meditation. You need to I start do meditation. I'm I'm, I'm on that path you myself. But you need to do a lot of. <sighs> I've done a lot of work mm. for, for, for quite a number of years and I've been exposed to different things. So I'm going to be saying different things and not everyone is ready to go there. So just dealing with the tree, the, 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 the branches of the tree to compare one person's struggle with another person's struggle is a sensitive because you're not coming from the same place. You're not in the same yeah. box. And that is just as simple no, as that. And we can, can, we can all take something yeah, from I, that. Yeah, I can definitely take something from that and agree with that. Yeah, we can all we can all take something from that. But when you said, "Okay, what is the solution?" That whole mindset yeah. in general of of comparing struggles or discriminating this and discriminating mm. that is to not discriminate anything. But my salute, what it sounds like to me is when when we've treat the, when we've come living, when I've come to asking about what the solution is, your solution falls in line with what I said originally and what my intention was originally and what I was trying to get across. Your solution falls with we should not discriminate against anyone and we should not accept any of these forms of discrimination. Yeah, but you didn't say that. You put them on the same nah, level. I, I said we I should attack everything. <laughs> well, you didn't mean yeah. to when you compared yeah, you yeah. Put them like that. Yeah. How we should come from intentionally is like that treat every what 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 was that famous saying an injustice somewhere an injustice anywhere is an injustice what was i it? know the one you're talking about an injustice somewhere is an injustice everywhere yeah. in it if it's an injustice it's an injustice yeah. we can't compare them because they have different volumes yeah, yeah, of course, but we... well, you know what you barge in an elder all right let me give you an example you barge in an elderly person mm -hmm. You shouldn't barge an elderly person. You shouldn't call that person nigger. You shouldn't call that person bitch. You shouldn't do that. Have respect for everyone. Yeah. That is the intention you should come with. Mm. But they all have their oh, different volumes, in it. They all have their different volumes and their own different uh, contexts mm. and their own history that goes behind mm -hmm. it. That is my point. That was my mm. point. I'm saying if we want to deal with problems as a if we want to face problems as a whole and actually tackle this whole shit together, cool. we need to fix our intention. So let's go back to the original point one more time, right? Because my, my intention is solution. So my, my intention is to treat all people, is, is to see, is equality. My intention is to treat things, treat people equally. So that, like, I, I don't, I'm not sure the intention here completely needs to change for me, but Going back to these two two things, right? At no mm -hmm. point I say they're equal, and I don't really, I don't think they are, right? But I think the level of of reaction from people saying that they're not is a bit extreme, like, uh, 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 or the level of how how far people are trying to claim that they are. So for one person to tell me, "Ah, oh, bitch and hoe is just a couple of women getting upset," like as, as if that's all it means. That's all that's going on here. That's all the discrimination of women and misogyny in society amounts to you know if we actually do want to compare and then say so that we can go actually no this one's much worse then we need to take on board all of those issues for women 
and what they actually are. And I don't feel like any of that's happened here. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, do you know what it is, yeah? It's because you touched upon a... It's only because you touched upon a sensitive... Of course. You touched upon a sensitive That's thing. why we're addressing it. It's that's like, why I'm addressing it. But Yeah, that's why we're addressing it. So, so tell me... So, so, that's, so that's, what, that's what I'm saying. So let's address it now, though. So if we're going to look at... So, you're touching on it. You're touching on a sensitive thing. Shouldn't mean we just dismiss women, dismiss all of the stuff they go through, and act like it's not a thing. Because that's a lot of that happening, bro. You know what I'm saying, like, and it's situations like where I'm talking about rape culture. Yeah, like this results in rape and murder of women constantly. You know what I'm saying, two women. Like I've studied this stuff probably. Two women are murdered in the UK alone every week by their partners and ex-partners. That's an epidemic. That's insane. You know what I'm saying. And I'm telling people this yesterday, the white dudes that was there, like I said, just they're just there to deny to deny misogyny existing and talk about misandry and all this nonsense. Like there's a strong denial of those things. Like if that's if that's an epidemic, two <laughs> women murdered, bro, every week. So you let me just, are you telling me I, I'm not sorry. I'm not disputing I'm agreeing with so, you, so, but what I am so saying, why can't, when you say that, when you draw that comparison, yeah. you're asking that black person yeah. Alright, breaking up. Side when yo, yo, yo. for a lot of people they haven't dealt with it yet. For a lot of like this whole issue on race and how black people have been treated has not been dealt with yet. Yeah. It's still unresolved. Yeah. We're still going on Facebook yeah, or we're course. going on the news and we're seeing black people getting stabbed and, and shot down all the time. So it's still very raw and sensitive. So it's the and to so is the issue with women. I'm saying these things. These now two women are murdered week now. These aren't his, this isn't a, these are neither of these things are historical historical I'm issues. Not, They're current I'm not, issues. I'm not, I'm not. No. No. Wait. 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 I am not saying that that isn't important. Far from that. But I'm saying when you say that, you're asking that person in that moment yeah. to to not be emotionally yeah. tied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To what is and I have to respect that, and what happening. and I have to respect that emotional reaction. That moment, it makes sense because when yes. I when I'm when I, like I say that that's, that's my mistake as well. Because like I say, when I talk about these things here, I'm talking to men. You know what I'm saying, and I'm not, and and there has to be an intersectional like consideration of myself where I'm talking to black men, black people as well, like reading this. So, but my this is a mess. This is a message to men, isn't it? For them, like with my intention for them to question themselves do you know what I'm saying like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which I think is I think is very necessary hmm? it's because I'm glad we're having this conversation and I rate you for having for, for opening a, a, a very conscious civil mm. uh, conversation on this we've known each other for years yeah anyway, of course but um, but um, I think it's very brave of you to do that but what I want to say in defense of some uh, uh, the people who have made some of these com mm. comments, you can't blame them for being no, hurt. of course not. And I, I think you I think that's a mess for yeah. being hurt and feeling and and coming from a place of mm. hurt because not everyone has done that work mm. to the point where it's like, okay, I've nursed and healed my own wounds, even though shit is still going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually I've nursed myself to the point yeah. where I can push that to the side momentarily and hear what you've got to and that's, say. And that's, and that's like, a privilege issue of myself of being able to sit back and not take that part on the yeah, toilet. Yeah. Nah, I, I, I accept that and agree with that. And it's also a privilege of men yeah. to not even be able to have to engage in exactly. that. Because <laughs> we ain't going to go going and guys going, hey, man, we'll bang you, you know, man. What, you ain't going to go in, man? You ain't going to be, yeah. you're just a slug, you're just a yeah. And that man's raping them. Yeah, like, exactly. We don't go through yeah. that. We don't have to feel that afraid at night yeah. walking down the street because we can just be like bruv if man come I'm just gonna bang you in it I'm just gonna bang you in the face like men are the protectors mm -hmm. yeah men are built physically stronger to do these things and women are the receivers we are the key and they are the the, 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 the portal in it they are the law yeah. and it's like they have to open up themselves in order to receive that's, they have to open up themselves. That, that whole dynamic of a man being a man and a woman being a woman, the way they are set, mm. um, it leaves them vulnerable and they need to be respected and they need to be protected. And when that isn't happening, it is a big problem because everyone has to come through the woman. Mm. Everyone has to come through the woman. And if the woman isn't respected and protected, then it's tainted. 
and it's, it's, it's dangerous for humanity. Yeah. And what I was saying is it isn't just a humanity thing. It's, 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 it's something that is spilled out. It's a mental sickness that is spilled out into the world because look at how we treat the earth. Yeah, yeah. The earth gives them. Do you know what I mean? The earth, we, we, pl we, plant, we plant these seeds from the earth and we eat the fruit and we will dash the thing in the bin or whatever when really we're supposed to take from the earth and give to the earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a system which is, which is infinite. Yeah. It feeds back into itself. Yeah. And what we've, what we've done is that whole mentality is shifted and, and now we're just raping the earth. We're just mining it, taking all the minerals, taking all of this, taking, taking, taking without putting back. And that whole rape culture that you're talking mm. about isn't just for human beings. It's a sickness that is spilled out into the yeah, earth, yeah, yeah. which is why it's... You're getting deep, brother. Uh, you know what, yeah? My... Um... My battery's getting low and I can't plug in my charger because I've got yeah. these headphones in order to be able to speak to you. Um, um I think that's been a big discussion. Big up for that, man. Uh, you know, it's better. We, when you talk, that's why I said do this because when you talk to someone in it's person, very, tone is not... It's black and white, man. It's just fucking text. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you get emotional from that. You make up your own thing. You make up your own yeah, thing. you make up your own meaning because there's no tone in what's being said and there's no, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes I wanted, like, my, my, my camera don't work on my on my laptop. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get it fixed so I can do this more often. You know what I'm saying? I have to work out doing this on my yeah, phone. Yeah, I think it's important we do this. All right, brother. One love, yeah? Right, love, brother. brother. Peace, peace.